So today we're gonna put on new brake pads. Uh, this is a Mitsubishi Lancer 2004 model 1.6 GLX. So you're gonna need two sizes. The top bolt is a 17, and the bottom one is gonna be a 14. This one. So let's start. So let's start taking this thing off. Man, this thing is on. There you go. Now it's loose. Now, this one at the bottom is the 14 mil. These bolts are tight. Well, better to tight than to loose. Remember, these pins need to be greased up again. Oh, I've got to secure this caliper first. One of these zip ties thingies. at the top onto the spray so now let's get back to business okay so the first thing you'll see is there's these little plates and you'll see the mark the piston left so remember this will be on the inside don't switch them up there's another one on this side and it's got a little clip on this side it looks totally different so don't mix the two up let's see what the condition is Ooh, nice and thin you can not put these little uh, wear indicators on but I don't use it uh, I check my brakes on a regular basis every three, three months so if you don't check your brakes at us often you can put these little squealers on i call them squealers because they make a hell of a lot of noise and that's a good indicator that your brakes are done or cooked so let's see this side
This one's stuck in it. There you go. So, this one also nicely worn, evenly. Right, so let's put on the new ones. But the first thing is, we need to. First thing is, we need to decompress or push this piston back to its original spot. Remember to open the top of the, uh, the of the cap open of the reservoir. See, I don't have one of those fancy uh, compressors they use that you put a little two ratchet and it looks like two of these put inside and then it's like a little ratchet you move up and down. I don't do a lot of, a lot of brakes, it's, I work on my own cars. So what I use, and I don't have a C-clamp, what I use is one of these long clamps, it still does the job. So this is how I do it. This is the piston and I have to kind of decompress it or push it back into position. So the best thing would be to have a C-clamp, but I don't have that. But this will do. So slowly push it back. Can you see? Yes you can. Don't push too quick, just slightly. And it's moving. Right. right, so let's go check the reservoir. Let's go check that reservoir to see if the level went up because that level was low. That level was very low. And see, that level was very low and now it's up here. And that's why you don't just throw in extra brake fluid if you see it's low because your brakes probably needs an overall. So let's continue. So now that you've checked the fluids at the top uh, to make sure it doesn't spill over, we've already compressed or pushed back this piston. So now we can put in these new ones. Remember the clips here, if there is one of these clips missing, it will move about and it will be loose and that's dangerous. So make sure all your clips are in top and bottom. Yeah, they're all there. Okay. So yeah, you, there's no special way to put this in. You can put this one this side, doesn't matter. So there's not a left and a right. Right, so let's put this in. First start to the top and then the bottom. And this side is in. Now for this sucker. It's better to put the top one in first and then the bottom. Come on, you sucker. Get in. Ah, six 
So this all sitting now. Don't remember these clips. This one is on the outside. See, there's a little clip. That one just fits around there. Oops, not like that. Sit, stay, nice doggy. And this one, remember about the the indication that there was a piston there? This one comes on the inside because the piston will be on the inside. And there it goes. Very nicely. And remember, we have to, the top one is a 17 and the bottom one is a 14, I think, yes, 14. So remember to grease these suckers up again to make sure it functions properly. So just let me get that grease. I'm just using a regular old grease. The correct one you can use on these type of applications are usually, uh, it's called copper grease, copper slip, or some other make that's specifically made for this type of application. But this is what I had. So, I'm just going to put some grease on these ones. Get it started. Lube it up to go in smoothly. Don't get any of that grease on these pads or your rotors. That will be a bad day. So Let's put this thing back. Make sure not to twist this line. See, I nearly twisted that line. First gonna align the stop one. Because of gravity. And when that sucker is started, now I can position the bottom one. Come on, work with me. I know you want to. Mm. Ooh, slippery. Let's put this, tighten this up, and then you'll be done. Remember now, you have to do the other side, eh? And uh, when you touch the brakes the first time, uh, make sure that the brakes, pump the brakes before you drive. Otherwise, you'll have a nasty surprise. Because remember now, the fluid has to go back. The piston has to be totally back at the moment. It has to travel a little bit still. So let's tighten this suck up. You, you, come on, wrong one, wrong one. nice and tight you don't have to bang on the thing just make sure it's tight there you go and that's tight but this one has to be tight and still and that seems tight so so I'm not going to show the other side because it's the exactly same thing. But remember, 
when you first start the car and drive it pump the brakes before moving otherwise you're gonna have an accident and we don't want that so I hope someone found this uh, helpful so leave a comment and a subscribe if you want to have a nice day